my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. Okay, surprise, it's not makeup releases. <laughs> Sweeties, let me explain. Makeup releases are going to come tomorrow because usually, as you probably know by now, if you came for that video, you know that I'm filming my new makeup releases on Mondays, but this week I, I was traveling on Monday so I couldn't film it, so I filmed it on Tuesday, which also means because I need like two days to edit this monster of a video so that's why it's coming tomorrow okay so it is coming I didn't want to skip it or something it's just that I I couldn't film all right so it is filmed though and this is actually me on the day where you're seeing this you know I always get super excited about that <laughs> so anyway I'm going to fill you in a little bit today about what has happened in the last week basically and I also because because I turned 41 last Sunday on August 16th. So, yeah. All right, I don't know if anyone cares, but um, some of you have reached out to me and congratulated me. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, so I'm a year older now and I'm so happy. <laughs> so I just want to sort of uh, take this opportunity to just look back uh, at this last year, what has happened, how I've been feeling, how I've been developing, you know, so it's going to be a little bit of like story time, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of everything today. So if you're up for that, then uh, just, you know, take a seat. <laughs> all right. So let's just talk a little bit, um, first of all, about my feelings, um, my birthday feelings. Let's put it that way. Okay. I hate birthdays. I hate birthdays, not only mine, I also hate other people's birthdays. So when I got up in the middle of the night to feed my rescue kitten uh, and I saw already the messages piling up, like it was just like six minutes after midnight and I had already like a couple of messages and then it just kept piling up and piling up and piling up. And I was like, oh, I just want to crawl into a hole in the ground. I don't, I don't, I don't, just I don't, you know, not even anything else, just I don't. Um, I know that that is a very, very unpopular opinion, like even among my friends. <laughs> Why do you hate birthdays? I just don't like it to like to get it rubbed into my face that I'm again turning a year older and I don't feel like a young woman anymore, you know? 41 is not a young woman. I'm like mid-range now. Like I don't know how to deal with that. And the thing is, last year when I turned 40, I know a lot of people, I remember that so, so clearly, a lot of people reached out to me and said to me, Leora, now your life is going to start. This is the best time of your life. This is when you find yourself as a woman. This is when you start to define where you're going and what you're doing and all of that and so much more. And I'm still waiting for that to kick in. I'm still waiting for that to happen. It hasn't happened, sweeties. This has been the most challenging year of my life. When I'm looking back, I have been on such a roller coaster of emotions because of turning 40. Uh, it was not nice. I did not enjoy this year at all when it comes to that. I did enjoy things in this year, of course, but not that part of it, you know? Like a couple of weeks before I turned 40 last year, I found my first gray hair, which was traumatizing. I haven't found any new one ever since, unless it's like on the back of my head and I just don't see it, you know? But still, it was, it was not even gray, it was white. <laughs> and it was right here and I will never forget. <laughs> So anyway, you know, um, that is stuff where I think I was just 16. How can that be? How can it be that I'm now like 41, I have seven kids, my oldest child is Bar Mitzvah, he's 13, he is basically becoming of age in the religious sense, in my religion, and um, he's almost taller than I am, and the youngest one is already four years old. I just had him. I just gave birth to him like last week. How can that be that he is now just like he just turned four? How is that possible? Why do I feel like time is running through my fingers and I'm not feeling like I'm getting anywhere? You know, I'm not... <sighs> I don't want to be whiny, okay, because I'm super grateful for a lot of things and I'm going to get into this too. But I want to just, um, you know, I want to share a little bit of that turmoil that is going on inside of me um, besides the pandemic and all of that that happened last year that like really, really added to this year to not be 
the nicest year of all <laughs> of all times but I mean I don't know what do you think like I know that my audience is for the most part my age and up like more mature and I know that you probably now smile down at me like <laughs> sweetie you know we've been there it's all good and at some point you'll look back and think well this was the time of your life and probably you're right I'm, I'm pretty certain you're right it's just that it doesn't help me it doesn't help me right now to think that at some point in 20 30 years if I live that long I'm going to look back and think that I enjoyed this time you know because I don't I feel like everything is a struggle nothing gets handed to me with a few exceptions okay but it's uh, and I don't really expect that either it's just that I feel also when it comes to my channel and I'm sorry I'm just jumping back and forth okay but there is like a lot of emotion in this in this whole thing where I just feel I should be further by now I should be bigger by now I should be I, I don't know more successful by now and I just feel like everything is like an uphill battle in so many ways and I am not I'm not scared of putting in the work you know that I'm really really working hard here um, but it's just I don't know what it is um, you guys let me know I mean I know that you are supporting me anyway it's not like <laughs> if I'm sad you know if I'm sad and if I'm doubting myself I just need to go into my comment se section and I know I, I just get so uplifted by what what the what you're writing there you know I don't know what other people do that get trashed in their comments I I would not survive it seriously I would not survive it but you guys are so amazing and so sweet and um, and that is uh, so so appreciated I, I really uh, appreciate it so much so thank you so so much um, it's just that the the thing with my channel with my work with everything about me personally not even involving my family or the pandemic or I don't know anything else um, it just feels like I'm working so so hard and I'm pushing myself so so hard and it feels like when is going to be my time when is going to be my time you know so my channel hit a thousand subscribers last year in September so we have come around like a thousand seven hundred subscribers now like more you know than I had back then which is amazing on YouTube terms it's nothing it's nothing for me it's amazing and I'm grateful for everybody who is here and for those who are subscribed who are actually watching my content which is you know thank you so so much the thing is that again here I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know what to do when I'm comparing myself and that is of course in itself a problem I know that when I'm comparing myself with my YouTube friends who are applying for the same PR searches and who are get, getting chosen and I don't then I don't know <laughs> I don't know what am I doing wrong you know I know because of where I live everything takes like a month or six weeks longer to get to me than to Europe or America there isn't even no questions asked because in America shipping is like like this right but everything takes super long to come here to get through customs and everything it's way worse than shipping something to Europe so I understand that brands for example would choose someone in Europe or in America above me I know that but it kind of hurts though you know because I'm good at this you know there is a reason why I won this competition this countrywide um, competition in makeup application last year I won it you know and I know that I'm very very good at this but I feel like because of where I'm living and the conditions I'm never going to get to the places that other people can get and it really really frustrates me at times now with all of that being said I know that I have such good friends such good friends and I want to shout out three people I know there are more and um, it's not like when you are leaving a comment I'm just like a lovely comment and I'm just dismissing it at all you know I consider all of you my tribe and that is uh, the most valuable place I have really and I don't even know how I would get through life without my tribe by now I'm totally addicted to this you know in the best possible way um, but I want to give a special shout out because I have two besties 
one in America, <laughs> Judith, she has been my supporter ever since I had like 50 subscribers or something. She has been with me the whole way and she has believed in me from the first second she saw me. And if you know what a transformation I've been going through ever since I started my channel in self-confidence and in also in how I'm applying my makeup and everything, then uh, you will know that <laughs> me seeing seeing me be back then and believing that there is something big ahead of me, something good big ahead of me, uh, that uh, is amazing, you know? And ever since we have been building our relationship and um, she is definitely my bestie. And uh, there is also Suzanne from the Netherlands who has become my, my bestie in Europe <laughs> because now I have to split it into like continents, <laughs> you know? And um, I have been in contact with her for months and months basically daily too and we have become really really close friends and I love her I love Judith I love Suzanne and uh, I, I I just cannot believe the way they support me each of them in their own way you know and if it wouldn't be for those two and the other person that I'm going to mention in just a second I would probably not be here anymore because seriously those two girls are my my own private therapy group you know <laughs> I'm talking to them every single day and they basically pick me up from the floor, like scratch me up from the floor every single day. Every time I'm doubting myself, which is probably like 20 times a day, um, they say, girl, you can do it. Just hang in there. It's going to be okay. You know, and they give me their advice and encouragement and all of that. And that is absolutely amazing. And again, I would probably have just abandoned my channel at some point because of like, I don't know, because of thinking that I'm not going to be able to do this, you know? So thank you so much, my sweet besties. And then there is, of course, um, Christine Patterson, who has blessed me with uh, makeup, you know? And that is a huge blessing, especially because I'm not living in America or I'm not living anywhere where anything happens connected to the makeup industry. And she has just reached out to me and said, you know what, I ordered those palettes or those palettes and they didn't work out for me. Would you be interested in having them? And I'm like, what? <laughs> where does this come from? You know, I know this is a blessing. This is a blessing that a person just reaches out to me and tells me, uh, would you like those palettes? You know, it's, it's, it's beyond my anything anything that I can imagine. And in a similar way, also Suzanne and Judith have um, really, really supported me and are like ongoing uh, supporting me, which is absolutely amazing because I cannot buy anything here. And you know the whole struggle. I'm not, I don't wanna get into this. So anyway, um, this has been something where I just feel like God's blessings on me because otherwise without without those three people and a few more but they have been really outstanding in in what they have been doing for me and how they have been like supporting me um I wouldn't be able to do it you know I would not be able to do it so uh, big big shout out and I love you guys so so much you know the whole thing with um with brands and and PR searches what I what I just uh, touched on before it's also you know there have been brands that reached out to me and said we would like to send you something please give us your address and then I give them my address and I never hear from them again because they see I'm located in Israel and it's just why would they ship to me you know and that is just sad it's sad it's sad for me it's maybe their loss I don't know maybe not I maybe nobody cares but for me it just um it puts like salt into the wound you know and I'm not going to move to America just to be famous on YouTube I'm not going to do that I'm going to stay put where I am this is my country and this is where I want to make it work you know so we all have to blossom and bloom where we are planted and this is how it is so anyway I just wanted to add this and I don't want this to come across like I'm whining or something I'm just sharing my emotions and like things that is going on in my life right now so apparently it's like a life update too so <laughs> Okay, so let me just go back a little bit to my birthday because my family knows that I don't enjoy birthdays and they know for the most part not to make a big deal out of it. 
um, I tried it, like all the messages that I got and I got a lot of messages to just be really really nice about it but <laughs> my besties they got an earful from me because <laughs> it's just I don't enjoy this you know I don't and like just say happy birthday and leave me alone you know let me sulk and let me sit in my own like stew <laughs> It just leave me alone for that day you know there's also so many people who suddenly call so many people who are writing messages and I think you know if this is the only message per year you're sending me then what are you doing like don't waste your time you know if you want to have a relationship with me then have a relationship but you know don't waste your time with that one message so I'm not talking though about the people who sent me messages on Facebook because Facebook like published my birthday or something like this of course that's what you're gonna do I'm talking about people in my life relatives stuff like that who know me and you know who have my contacts and everything so anyway that is that so my family knows of course and not to make a big deal I also I reject flowers I absolutely hate when people give me flowers I know <laughs> I know but I hate it when 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 flowers get cut and basically killed for me you know I know they are cut anyway they're in the store and people are buying them but I don't want it for me I get nothing out of this and I don't want it so my husband knows he can save a lot of money on flowers throughout the year I don't want it don't give me chocolates I'm not gonna eat it so that is that so he knows that um, <laughs> the only thing that makes me happy is makeup makeup and clothes because I'm into styling and I'm into makeup so the only thing that makes me happy is that so he said to me if you want to please go to the local Il Maquillage store or to the local Mac store and just buy whatever you want and then I said you know what that is super super sweet of you but there is nothing there in those stores that I want because everything that I want is basically I have to order it online so he said okay so go and buy something online which I do anyway but then he said you know what I know you do that anyway <laughs> but he said buy something special that you would otherwise not buy all right so I thought immediately um, I would like to try either Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona these two brands I just want to know what the hype is all about you know so you know if you're watching my new makeup releases videos that I am best friends with uh, Pat McGrath and she's my twin sister and I love her and she sends me PR <laughs> Yeah, so I, um, I'm absolutely in love with her Mothership palettes and I've been like ogling them. I never thought that I would have some. Yeah, I will. <laughs> But anyway, let me let me tell you the story. I was first of all I was going to the Natasha Denona website because I figured if I were to order the Metropolis palette, I would just get a lot of product for a hundred, I don't know, thirty dollars or whatever the price is. So but then I looked at that palette and I thought oh, this palette is so boring. I don't want to waste that money on that palette, no matter what my YouTube friends say. Okay? Like this palette comes in the top ten of everything. But but I just feel like no matter what they're gonna say I don't need this palette at all you know so this color scheme is just not for me even if it's made out of gold so after that I went to the Pat McGrath website and I was immediately you know I'm just so in love with the way she sees makeup you know even though she comes out with 10 pen palettes for a ridiculous amount of money but I was like if he is already he my husband if he is already willing to pay so much money for a palette then I'd rather have a palette that I really really like vibe with you know so I looked at Pat's website and I saw the Divine Rose one and two and I was like ah. Oh yeah I, they, they are nice I then decided very quickly on for, uh, for the D Divine Rose 2 because it is a little bit more bold a little bit more interesting if you ask me according to my makeup taste and then I also saw the what was it called now the subversive palette subversive palette which is of course they are not new palettes you know but who cares like on my channel I did I don't have anything really new anyway ever which is also a reason why people are not super drawn to my channel but anyway so that 
<laughs> that was that. I saw this subversive palette which is like dark and grungy and like just so me. And I showed my husband and he said um, they're both nice but I think the subversive palette is more you. So I said okay um, I, I think I'm gonna take the subversive palette then and just leave the I don't know the divine rose too for maybe next year or who knows what. So then he said take both take both, which is like $260 without even shipping and taxes, right? <laughs> I couldn't even believe it. Okay, so I had stuff to do. I could not put the order in immediately. So I, uh, I had to take the kids somewhere and whatever. So then lunchtime came around and after eating lunch, he asked me, have you placed the order? I said, no, I wouldn't do that. I just wanted to like quickly um, talk to you about this again. So we went back to the website and then I saw that the Midnight Sun palette from Pat McGrath has gone on sale, which is not a huge sale. I mean, when you think about the prices of those palettes is still like $80 for a 10 pan palette or something but it was on sale so I I felt like you know the, the, the person in me who loves to buy stuff on sale or secondhand or you know this this kind of person that is part of me thought now I have to buy that palette because it is on sale so he said don't look at the price just choose the two that you want I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> So my husband said the Subversive palette and the Midnight Sun palette are way more you than the Divine Rose palette. Um, just, you know, take those two if you want to, whatever, do whatever you want to. So in the meantime, because I couldn't decide, in the meantime, my in-laws came by and, um, and congratulated me and gave me a card and there was some cash included. Okay, which is amazing. <laughs> so anyway, um, after all of that, I went then again to the website and I thought, what am I going to do? And then I suddenly thought, you know what? If my husband wants to pay for two, why don't I just pay for the third one with the money that I just got from my in-laws? And that's what I did. And I placed the order and um, and I have three Pat McGrath Mothership palettes coming my way while we're speaking. You know, and I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it because I'm so into affordable makeup and I am because I think it is amazing if makeup works. And that is basically what I'm trying to prove to myself and also show you that you can make it work and you do not need to spend this kind of a money. But I still want to know how it compares. I still want to know what the hype is about. I still want to feel myself if there is a difference and I'm super thrilled that I'm going to have those palettes. So big shout out in this case to my husband because he made this possible that I would I would have never ordered this on my own. Never. It would not have crossed my mind ever to buy a 10 pan palette for $130 each. I would have never done that in my life and he made it possible and I think that is absolutely awesome and I just you know I can't even believe it still can't believe it but of course you'll see it here and um, we shall see if it's fairy dust okay so that was that you know I wanted to share that story with you and this this whole day that had started out so crappy because of me being in a crappy place not because of people being mean or anything just because of me um, not vibing well well with the whole concept of birthdays <laughs> um, I don't know, he, with this action, he just turned it all around for me, you know, and I, I thanked him so much and I said, you know what, you really, this, this was the best gift you have ever given me in, like, in all of those years that we had together. So that was amazing. It was also amazing for him because he always feels like he's giving me the wrong stuff. <laughs> So, and in the recent years, I have then started to just order my own stuff because, you know, it's very hard for him to figure me out. But uh, I think it's very hard for everyone to figure me out. <laughs> but that was amazing. And I'm super, super grateful that he was so, so like relaxed about this. You know, I mean, seriously, this is a price tag that one cannot just like tuck away right so amazing absolutely amazing thank you so much husband if you're watching this so there is one more thing that I still want to add regarding my channel because I'm just flipping back and forth as you know <laughs> but you know this this whole thing where I feel like what am I doing is this right what am I doing with my mixed content is this where I want to take
take my channel but I kind of feel like I want to I want to have a good mix of lifestyle of my my weight loss videos of my wrapping tutorials of also makeup content the thing is you know when I'm doing reviews which I really really like to do because I just love to talk about makeup these are my least watched videos and I kind of feel like the thing is that the makeup of all of the things that I'm doing is probably my strongest feature this is this is where I'm best at like better than even rapping or better than a lifestyle you know sometimes when I'm sitting here doing lifestyle videos like today I feel like I'm just like a rambling on and that's like anyone want to watch this and then I see the views and people tell me wow I've been waiting for a new lifestyle video from you and I'm like what <laughs> really really um I think the one thing that maybe speaks for me is that I'm just sharing and I'm not really putting a filter on on what I'm sharing here I'm just like talking to friends and that is probably what uh, what most of you see in these videos that you just feel like we're hanging out and that is just a really really nice vibe that we have going on here and I like that um, the thing is that uh, I I feel in a lot of ways I feel just limited by my life conditions you know forget where I'm living that is of course the part that we covered already but it's also when I compare again I know I shouldn't do that but I'm just sort of like pointing out the difference okay when I compare myself to my YouTube friends I just besides living in a makeup desert okay I have just a completely different lifestyle because of having seven children compared to one or none at all you know I have all those rescue animals and I I'm really really busy even without having YouTube I would be super enormously busy now if I were to get PR could I drop everything and sit down even if it is at night and and do makeup looks with that palette so the video can be up a couple hours later I probably could never do that you know and maybe that is also something that brands see that uh, that sort of turns them off me you know and um, it's sad because this is my biggest passion and my biggest pleasure is makeup that's the biggest thing in my life you know and I, I know that God has given me such a big gift in this and I love it and I'm embracing it and I'm like I'm I'm growing it in me you know um, because I want this to develop and I want to see where it goes and all of these things but um, I, I kind of I'm not ready for this to stay on the small burner because I want everybody to see it is that bad <laughs> I know that is not a very modest thing uh, to say but at the other at the, at the other hand I kind of feel like if it's really true that I am now 41 and this is where I'm defining myself this is the age where I know where I want to go then I might as well also say this is where I want to go you know I don't want to hold myself back but at the same time I have only two hands and I have only 24 hours in the day like everybody else Plus, my day is just filled with a lot more than maybe other YouTubers days, you know, besides the normal work. So just saying, you know, I really I don't want to say this is bad or this is bad or this is better or whatever. It's just different. And um, I just have to realize that 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 might be an issue you know for what I'm doing here okay one more thing that I wanted to point out before we're wrapping this lifestyle video up I wanted to point out because of course you know that this is actually how I look today this is what I'm filming today and you're going to see it in a couple of hours so now this is Wednesday my Wednesday and I just wanted to share because you have been part most of you maybe and um, also of my weight loss videos so I just wanted to share that my yesterday Tuesday I reached my weight goal I reached my weight goal maybe you know that I have had a real big setback regarding my own weight during the whole pandemic uh, happening and also a little bit before already it went sort of a little bit off the trail but then it really spiraled into something really really bad and unhealthy when the pandemic hit and at the beginning of April I started to go back to therapy I reached out to my therapist that was also with me when I did my initial weight loss of 60 kilos I'm going to put the pounds when I'm saying kilos I'm going to put the pounds here on the screen because I don't know like pounds means nothing to me I'm, I have to look it up and I'll put it here so I in my original weight loss um, journey I lost 60 kilos okay so now of course I didn't have to lose 60 kilos but I had to lose 13 13 because that is what I had gained 
okay that is what I was above my perfect weight so now yesterday when I went to therapy I got weighed and I am at my perfect weight now and uh, this is just such a feeling of accomplishment right now that it's unbelievable and I did this those 13 kilos I lost them since the beginning of April which is basically four months and a week or so so that is um, I it was a lot of hard work you know like other people in the therapy group yesterday asked me was it hard and I was like no it was pure bliss <laughs> You know, it's a battle. It's a battle. Every minute of every single day, it's a battle. And I have to stand up to like all kinds of, of things tugging at me, you know, when it comes to my weight loss and my weight gain. I have these voices that tell me you're still not good enough. Maybe someone will love you more. Someone will watch you more. Maybe someone will support you more if you are just a little bit thinner. Those are, of course, those voices of my eating disorders, anorexia and bulimia that I had and that I'm recovering from, but it's there, you know? So that is tugging on me from the that side. And and the other voices are like come on treat yourself you know why don't you relax a little bit you have so much going on in your life why don't you just eat a bowl of ice cream or why don't you have that pasta right now or you know so I'm sort of torn in the middle between those two sides so it is a battle every single day it is a decision every single minute of my life to stay in line and to be healthy and to to like hold on to what I have lost you know in the sense of weight that I've lost so it is it's a battle you know but I'm super proud like with all of that being said I'm super super proud that I've reached it and now I have of course this whole thing that now I have to keep it and that is something and I've already pointed that out also in my weight loss videos before that that is something that I have never achieved I know how to lose weight I know how to gain weight I never knew how to be in a healthy balance now last time once I had reached my my weight goal I lost another 12 kilos in addition to that and that is when I spiraled into my my uh, eating disorders because I was so scared of getting big again you know but now I was very very open to my therapist about all my concerns and all of that and also what happened last time you know after I had finished therapy um, that uh, she says I'm with you you know just keep coming to therapy and we are going to figure this out we're going to take it one week at the time and um, I'm with you and I'm going to take care of you and that is just a feeling where I think wow someone is taking care of me I love that <laughs> absolutely love that and I'm so grateful for Esther um, that she is part of my journey uh, because of all the therapists I've gone to in in regard to the eating disorder she's the only one that is with me like in my heart you know and for something like that that hits so close to home and can be potentially so life-threatening um, you need someone who you are actually really really connecting to and in a lot of ways she is constantly sitting here on my shoulder and saying to me Leora you can do this Leora you can do this Leora you can do this you know and on the other shoulder there are my two besties <laughs> Suzanne and Judith who tell me yes Leora you can do this maybe not necessarily in regard of my weight issue but because of my YouTube channel because of you know me being me and so I have really like a good influences in my life and of course all of you in the comment section and on social media who are so super sweet to me I thank you I thank you for all of your support uh, throughout the year also for everybody who's using my codes when you're buying something it really really does help I know I'm just a very small channel a small creator but I know I have a very very big soul I have a lot to give and I hope that just at some point brands will also recognize that and just give me a chance because I think I have a lot to give maybe in a different way than other people maybe I cannot just drop everything and just feature that brand right now but I have stuff to give and maybe at some point someone will see that beyond all of you who are seeing it already so anyway I hope you did enjoy this video I hope it wasn't too rambly it was just friendship time you know and I just definitely wanted to share the story with my husband and the Pat McGrath palettes also because I, it just made me super happy and I cannot I, I can't believe that he did this you know and this is really his love language what can I say you know it's amazing and um, maybe the longer we are together the more he figures out how I tick so <laughs> maybe at some point you know <laughs> 
<laughs> someone will figure me out. All right, sweeties, uh, this is it for today. Of course, tomorrow is going to be my new makeup releases video, which I'm still editing, so <laughs> I'm still busy with that one, but I want to have it up by tomorrow. So anyway, come back for that if you want to. I, uh, you are very invited to uh, watch that monster. But anyway, <laughs> so that is what we're having here. If you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as part of my tribe. I do a whole lot of different kind of content, what I already told you about. Please feel free to check it all out. And besides that, again, I'll see you here tomorrow or next week for my upcoming videos. And up until next time, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.